Hello, Lions. This is your uh, To Kill a Mockingbird historical context research for on level English. You are going to go to readylibrary.com and you can click on the To Kill a Mockingbird. When you click on this, um, this video will be linked right here and embedded down here. And then we're going to click on the click here, which will take us into the Mac and Via group for this particular assignment. If you'll notice up here, you can click on this icon to change the view of your uh, resources and then down here you can click on the view instructions and there are some important resources here that you may want to use for this assignment. This is the uh, research topics that are, you're going to be briefed on for the introduction to the assignment and then over here is the um, student copy of the assignment and uh, information there so that is there for your reference this is a forced copy of your annotated bib template so if you click on this it's going to ask you to make a copy yes you want to make a copy and then you'll have a template of the annotated bib that you can go in and edit yourself and that will be uh, then included in your Google Drive so that's there this is also a forced copy link of your collaboration document same thing you want to make a copy and then um, this will have the uh, be the information where you can put citations and things as well for this assignment. Uh, this document is the presentation for this assignment, so in case you need to refer to it, there it is. And so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, and I'm going to walk you through some of these resources. <clears throat> So um, this is uh, the site, this Formula Web Extension. If you don't have this on your Chrome browser, I suggest you go ahead and add it. Mine says added to Chrome. Yours will be blue and it will say add to Chrome if you don't already have it. Once it's added, it's this little blue icon up here that says cite this for me website. So you're going to want to make sure you have that on your Chrome. Uh, you can just X out of that. This is uh, the ML8, uh, the EasyBib ML8. Uh, citation guide here in case you need to refer to that for any reason and then this is just a link to your Google Drive so when you click this it'll open up your Google, Google Drive for you okay um, down here I have uh, the ebook copy that we have um, here in Mac and Via if you need to check out the ebook or the digital audiobook those are right there for you uh, as well so for this assignment, I'm going to go over the different types of sources because one of the things your teachers want is they want you to use different types of sources. Um, and so these are the basic types of sources. We have encyclopedia articles, uh, magazine articles, reference and nonfiction uh, articles, and then our books, articles and books, and then news sources as well as academic journals or scholarly journals. Um, and in the case of uh, literature, you're going to have a lit crit which would be considered uh, academic or scholarly journals. That's where you'll find your, your lit crit. Um, so these are the basic types of sources. And over here, it tells you where um, what databases you can find these particular types of sources in. Um, and so all the databases are, are right here in Mac and Via, but I've pulled in just a few that I think you should focus on specifically for the topics of this assignment. Okay. So I am going to... Um, just do uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That's the what I'm going to search when I'm showing you how to use these resources. Um, this link right here is a great link if you are looking for just kind of some general historical context uh, through the geographical, the philosophical, all, all those different uh, lenses that they're asking you to look at. So this just gives you a little bit of information to kind of help you understand this time period. If you use any information from this, you're going to need, this is a website, so you're going to need to come up here to the Cite This For Me extension and click on it and you're going to want to make sure that you choose MLA and then you're going to want to make sure that you have the uh, citation right here. And so this is what you would copy and put into your annotated bib or your collaboration document uh, if you're looking for sources for that. Okay, so that's what you're going to use for this site. Um, I would also recommend that you maybe start with Britannica School. You don't even necessarily need to cite this source, um, but you can certainly use it and cite it if you want. But this um, source is just going to give you a little bit of information about a lot of different topics. That's what an encyclopedia does. It's a great place to start your research because it'll kind of help you understand uh, the topic a little better than maybe you do if you or if you don't know anything at all. Okay, so. Everything in this article you can cite 
uh, right here by clicking on the site button make sure you choose MLA and then copy and paste this uh, into your uh, works cited page okay um, I don't think you guys are going to need any images uh, for this project, but um, just in case, if you do need an image, you can click on the image and then click on the site button. Make sure it says MLA and copy and paste that um, just in case. All right, so that is a Britannica School. You can also use student resources and context. This is a great source. Uh, this is a great um, online resource for you to find different types of sources right so I'm gonna come because the encyclopedia uh, Britannica school is just an encyclopedia that's that's all that is um, I did not mean to click on that I meant to click there and then click here so when I put in my topic right here um, you will notice that um, different types of sources are listed over here so I've got reference sources I've got biographies I've got primary sources I have news sources magazines academic journals critical essays and even some websites so this is a great you can get all your sources from this database because the database itself is not a source the sources are here so for instance if I click in the reference sources and I'm looking for um, you know Franklin Delano Roosevelt and the Conservative Coalition. This would be one source because it's from uh, this Gale Student Resources in Context. Okay, so this would be one source. Uh, and then if I wanted, and by the way, citation tools right here, if I click this, copy and paste this into my uh, works cited, I'm copying and pasting this in my works cited. I can also, one thing that's great about this database is I can click right here and sign into my Google and you'll notice it says signed in Nancy Joe. And then I can come over here and download and I can download this whole article to my Google Drive and then my group or I can go in and annotate it within um, Google Drive um, if I want to or that way I can make sure that I'm paraphrasing accurately and all that kind of stuff. So that's a great thing to do. All right, so I'm going to go back, and so now um, let's say I go over here to biographies, and I click on biographies, and I can come right here uh, to this one. Let's just say I want to use this one. So now this is from a totally different source, right? So this would be source number two if I were getting some information from this database. Again, citation tools, I can download it, all that good stuff. All right, so that is student resources and context. Um, oh, one more thing I want to show you is uh, the primary sources. Primary sources, if you're looking for a primary source, um, this is a great database for that because you can find um, his actual like news radio broadcasts and, and speeches and, and different things like that. He has all, a lot of the fireside chats are in here as well. So this, is, this would be a great uh, resource for primary sources. So that's student resources and context. Um, oh, sorry. Um, Okay, and then um, next is going to be the uh, Literature Resource Center. So if if you're looking for information about To Kill a Mockingbird specifically, or the author, or background on the actual book, um, this would be a great database to use. It's the same. Sign in with Google and get your citations and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's going to be if you need like literary sources. And then ABC Clio American History. This is another one, especially if you're looking up the Jim Crow things or the Franklin Delano Roosevelt. You know, any of those historical type things are going to be here. And so you're going to click on over here. You can see there's biographies, photos and illustrations, political cartoons, posters, um, poster speeches. Um, that that is all here and so if you're just wanting biographies or if you're just wanting a speech you can click on these and and filter those down like that and then if you want to use this particular source you can um, click cite and make sure you choose MLA copy and paste this into your uh, citations and so that's that's ABC Clio um, this is just a Bloom's Guide. This is kind of telling you a little, uh, helps you understand To Kill a Mockingbird um, should you need that. This document right here I want to show you really quickly is using sources with academic integrity. Um, one of the things that you're going to want to make sure that you do is paraphrasing. Uh, so you'll notice that I have effective paraphrase. Here's the original quote. Here's an effective paraphrase, original quote, and then a poor paraphrase. Um, if you have questions about um, paraphrasing, I have some tips up here. 
for effective um, par paraphrasing. And then also MLA, formatting quotations, or in-text citations. These are the links directly to those pages to help you with that um, as well. So this document is here for your reference in your Mac and Via group. The video that you're watching right now will also be in here as soon as I get it uploaded. As always, if you have any questions while you're researching, please feel free to email me, lambertin at friscoisd.org, or you can come see me in the library or during class. Feel free to ask me any questions, um, but good luck, Lions.